Сейчас вы будете выполнять задание по аудированию. Каждый текст прозвучит два раза. После первого и второго прослушивания у вас будет время для выполнения и проверки заданий. Все паузы включены в аудиозапись. Остановка и повторное воспроизведение аудиозаписи не предусмотрены. Задание 1. Вы два раза услышите четыре коротких диалога, обозначенных буквами A, B, C, D. Установите соответствие между диалогами и местами, где они происходят. К каждому диалогу подберите соответствующее место действия, обозначенное цифрами. Используйте каждое место действия из списка 1-5 только один раз. В задании есть одно лишнее место действия. Запишите в таблицу выбранные цифры под соответствующими буквами. У вас есть 20 секунд чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. Now we are ready to start. Dialogue A. Feeling tired? Yeah. Uh, I've been on the treadmill for half an hour already. You take your fitness classes very seriously, don't you? I have to. I've put on five kilos after the last two weeks. Too many buns and cakes. Hmm. Yeah, but if you exercise here regularly, you'll be in good shape very soon. I'm also thinking about going swimming a couple of days a week. Dialogue B. I'm dying for a drink. I thought you liked dancing. I do, but I need a break. Let's have a drink and a sandwich. OK, chicken or tuna? Chicken and a glass of mineral water, still. Dialogue C. So, what's wrong with you? I don't really know, but my foot hurts and it's getting worse every day. When did you first feel the pain? Um, three days ago. At first I thought it was because of my intensive classes at the fitness club. I didn't pay much attention. But yesterday we had a party And I had to leave almost at once, as it was difficult not only to dance, but to walk. Well, we'll have to x-ray your foot to be sure everything's okay with the bones. Dialogue D. Where are we going now? To sportswear. Gosh, you've never done any sport. Right, so it's a good time to start. Because you've put on a few extra kilos? Mainly, but also because there's a mega sale in sportswear. I can buy everything at half price. You have 20 seconds to complete the task. Now you will listen to the dialogues again. Dialogue A. Feeling tired? Yeah, uh, I've been on the treadmill for half an hour already. You take your fitness classes very seriously, don't you? I have to. I've put on five kilos after the last two weeks. Too many buns and cakes. Hmm, yeah, but if you exercise here regularly, you'll be in good shape very soon. 
I'm also thinking about going swimming a couple of days a week. Dialogue B. I'm dying for a drink. I thought you liked dancing. I do, but I need a break. Let's have a drink and a sandwich. Okay, chicken or tuna. Chicken, and a glass of mineral water. Still. Dialogue C. So, what's wrong with you? I don't really know, but my foot hurts and it's getting worse every day. When did you first feel the pain? Um, three days ago. At first, I thought it was because of my intensive classes at the fitness club. I didn't pay much attention, but yesterday we had a party. And I had to leave almost at once, as it was difficult not only to dance but to walk. Well, we'll have to X-ray your foot to be sure everything's okay with the bones. Dialogue D. Where are we going now? To sportswear. Gosh, you've never done any sport. Right. So it's a good time to start. Because you've put on a few extra kilos, mainly, but also because there's a mega sale in sportswear. I can buy everything at half price. This is the end of the task. You now have twenty seconds to check your answers. Задание два. Вы два раза услышите пять высказываний, обозначенных буквами A, B, C, D, E. Установите соответствие между высказываниями и утверждениями из следующего списка. Каждому высказыванию подберите соответствующее утверждение, обозначенное цифрами. Используйте каждое утверждение из списка 1-6 только один раз. В задании есть одно лишнее утверждение. Запишите в таблицу выбранные цифры под соответствующими буквами. У вас есть 30 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданием. Now we are ready to start. Speaker A. Driving requires concentration, attention, and skills. Unfortunately, some people do not fully realize how dangerous their car may be for themselves and to other people. Lots of accidents happen because the driver exceeds the speed limit. Or when the driver feels unwell or simply tired. However, the worst thing is when drivers start competing with each other and have car races on the city roads. Speaker B. I worked in an office for several years, and after a while, I got pretty bored with that. I wanted to change something in my life, and this reminded me of my childhood dream of wanting to be a bus driver. Why not? I said to myself. Now I drive a large, comfortable city bus. My route is through the centre of the city, which is nice in quiet hours. In the daytime, the traffic is heavy, but I enjoy it anyway. Speaker C. Nowadays, people need to be very mobile. Public transport, 
like buses or the underground, is the best way to get from point A to point B in the city. They are relatively cheap and safe. If you want, you can take a taxi or drive your own car. In some countries, bicycles are becoming more and more popular. People prefer them to cars when they go to work or to a shop. Speaker D. There are lots of cars on the streets of our cities, and they're getting more and more of them. Too much available transport, however, may lead to accidents and unpleasant situations. Cars and buses may get stuck in traffic jams. Sometimes, careless drivers park their cars in the wrong places, and it causes lots of inconvenience to the passerby and to other drivers. Speaker E. I love driving, and I always try to be very careful on the road. However, last Sunday was not my lucky day. I went to a nearby town to visit my grandma. Normally, it takes me about thirty minutes to get there, but on Sunday the road was blocked because of an accident. Then I was nearly hit by another car. Fortunately, the driver was stopped by the police and fined for dangerous driving. You have thirty seconds to complete the task. Now you will listen to the texts again. Speaker A. Driving requires concentration, attention, and skills. Unfortunately, some people do not fully realize how dangerous their car may be for themselves and to other people. Lots of accidents happen because the driver exceeds the speed limit. Or when the driver feels unwell or simply tired. However, the worst thing is when drivers start competing with each other and have car races on the city roads. Speaker B. I worked in an office for several years, and after a while, I got pretty bored with that. I wanted to change something in my life, and this reminded me of my childhood dream of wanting to be a bus driver. Why not? I said to myself. Now I drive a large, comfortable city bus. My route is through the centre of the city, which is nice in the quiet hours. In the daytime, the traffic is heavy, but I enjoy it anyway. Speaker C. Nowadays, people need to be very mobile. Public transport, like buses or the underground. Is the best way to get from point A to point B in the city. They are relatively cheap and safe. If you want, you can take a taxi or drive your own car. In some countries, bicycles are becoming more and more popular. People prefer them to cars when they go to work or to a shop. Speaker D. There are lots of cars on the streets of our cities, and they're getting more and more of them. Too much available transport, however, may lead to accidents and unpleasant situations. Cars and buses may get stuck in traffic jams. Sometimes, careless drivers park their cars in the wrong places, and it causes lots of inconvenience to the passerby and to other drivers. Speaker E. I love driving, and I always try to be very careful on the road. However, last Sunday was not my lucky day. I went to a nearby town to visit my grandma. Normally, it takes me about thirty minutes to get there, but on Sunday the road was blocked because of an accident. 
Then I was nearly hit by another car. Fortunately, the driver was stopped by the police and fined for dangerous driving. This is the end of the task. You now have twenty seconds to check your answers. Задание три восемь. Вы услышите разговор двух друзей. В заданиях 3.8 в поле ответа запишите одну цифру, которая соответствует номеру правильного ответа. Вы услышите запись дважды. У вас есть 60 секунд, чтобы ознакомиться с заданиями. Now we are ready to start. Andrew, what a surprise! What are you doing at the airport? Jane? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm flying to Greece. And I've just returned from Italy. I did an Italian course there, and we certainly saw lots of tourist attractions. Lucky you. I don't think I'll manage to see any attractions in Athens. I'm going to my grandmother's. And you? Yeah, she's lived in Athens for many years, but now it's getting a bit difficult for her to live on her own, so she's moving to London to be closer to the family. I'm going there to help her pack and move house. Ah, I see. But anyway, a change of surroundings is always nice. Right, but I may be at risk of being stuck in this airport for hours. The flight is delayed. What's wrong? Problems with the plane? Now the plane is all right, it's just raining hard in Athens and we're waiting for the situation to improve. But the forecast is not very promising. Anyway, it's better to wait than to take a risk. I'm awfully afraid of flying and go by train whenever possible. I don't think anyone can avoid flying nowadays. And you know, a plane is much safer than a coach or a car. The statistics say so. Do they? Yes, and if I have a choice... I always choose plane. Really? You often fly to Greece, don't you? Oh, yes. We've spent every summer there over the last seven years. My mother's a teacher and she always has holidays in the summer. She, my younger sister and I, go to the Greek coast. I do envy you. Yes, it's been really great. We've toured the whole country and have seen all the historically significant places. Mum always insisted we went on guided excursions, as the guide can tell you lots of fascinating stories about ancient and modern Greece. I bet they can. Have you been to any other countries? Yes, but not many. France. And that's all, actually. We're planning to visit Italy next summer. Oh, you won't regret that. It's a wonderful country. Their architecture, their cuisine and their language are all just beautiful. I can't say a word in Italian. Never mind. Italians are very friendly and communicative. They don't mind if you express yourself with body language. What language do you learn at school? French. I chose it because it sounds beautiful to me. And probably because my other grandmother is French. Ah, oh, OK. Next year I'm going to take a Spanish course in a language school. Why Spanish? A Spanish relative too? No, no, it's, it's spoken in a lot of countries. It'll be useful for my future career, I think. 
You have 30 seconds to complete the task. Now you'll hear the text again. Andrew, what a surprise! What are you doing at the airport? Jane? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm flying to Greece. And I've just returned from Italy. I did an Italian course there, and we certainly saw lots of tourist attractions. Lucky you. I don't think I'll manage to see any attractions in Athens. I'm going to my grandmother's. And you? Yeah, she's lived in Athens for many years, but now it's getting a bit difficult for her to live on her own, so she's moving to London to be closer to the family. I'm going there to help her pack and move house. Ah, I see. But anyway, a change of surroundings is always nice. Right, but I may be at risk of being stuck in this airport for hours. The flight is delayed. What's wrong? Problems with the plane? No, the plane is all right. It's just raining hard in Athens and we're waiting for the situation to improve. But the forecast is not very promising. Anyway, it's better to wait than to take a risk. I'm awfully afraid of flying and go by train whenever possible. I don't think anyone can avoid flying nowadays. And you know, a plane is much safer than a coach or a car. The statistics say so. Do they? Yes. And if I have a choice... I always choose plane. Really? You often fly to Greece, don't you? Oh, yes. We've spent every summer there over the last seven years. My mother's a teacher and she always has holidays in the summer. She, my younger sister and I, go to the Greek coast. I do envy you. Yes, it's been really great. We've toured the whole country and have seen all the historically significant places. Mum always insisted we went on guided excursions, as the guide can tell you lots of fascinating stories about ancient and modern Greece. I bet they can. Have you been to any other countries? Yes, but not many. France. And that's all, actually. We're planning to visit Italy next summer. Oh, you won't regret that. It's a wonderful country. Their architecture, their cuisine and their language are all just beautiful. I can't say a word in Italian. Never mind. Italians are very friendly and communicative. They don't mind if you express yourself with body language. What language do you learn at school? French. I chose it because it sounds beautiful to me. And probably because my other grandmother is French. Ah, oh, OK. Next year I'm going to take a Spanish course in a language school. Why Spanish? A Spanish relative too? No, no, it's, it's spoken in a lot of countries. It'll be useful for my future career, I think. This is the end of the task. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers. This is the end of the listening test. Время, отведённое на выполнение заданий, истекло.